Okay, everybody. Um, so E50 Nissan L Grand. There's your ODB um, on there. So it can only go on one way, uh, as you'll see from there and from fittings there. So it's to go um, that way up. He says it. No, he says, yeah. There we go. <laughs> so um, let's just get that in focus there. So, yeah, long flat part, part on bottom, and there we go. So I've got to start it up first. So just uh, get in, get it started. Um, there we go. So check engine light there. Got it in brake. Just wait for this vehicle to get past. Just um, let's try and do this now. So here we go. Little awkward, I'll be honest. Um, Look it up, perfect. Right, so so that's in now. So just got to go um, through this setup. So I'll just bring it up here. And I'll just wind it round and close this door. Let's get in here. Now the other thing, I haven't got that much fuel in, uh, fuel light came on and I noticed there was something which mentioned about um, some sensors um, can be affected with it. So just, um, right, so just press enter there, select brand. So we go down, Toyota, Mazda. Oh, this is really handy actually, I've just thought so it'll show anybody with these vehicles that this is what it's kind of covering so there you go nissan suzuki and Su uh, scooby-doo's scooby-doo's right so communication please wait in um read fault codes erase fault codes all right straight on to them Right, PO136 and HO2S2B1. Um, I wonder, right, I can't, can't do anything else with that. Um, so this is total first time in using one of these, so interesting. But at least one good thing, I've only one fault card. Uh, it might not be a very good thing, but we'll, we'll just see. So I'm presuming now I can just plug this into the laptop and it, it'll either send, uh, you know, send details through or, or something, but we'll see. So um, there we go. Um, if I exit out of that, so I could go to erase it, but I'm not going now, not yet. Um, and I'm just looking back, so I'll do, OD, OBD2 system, let's just go into that. So, entering system, ISO 141230-4KWP. So, I'm presuming here it's just pulling more data down from vehicle. It's it's not like it's connecting to Wi-Fi or anything, um, or internet. And um, let's just see what happens here. I really appreciate this. Um, it, no one's done any videos, what I've seen, um, covering like, okay, for a Nissan L Grand or JDM, you know. So at least you know the other vehicles it does support. So um, well worth a buy, really, especially if you're on Japanese stuff. Um, let's just take it from here then, wait and see what happens after this bit. 
I suppose it's a good thing we're recording this like I've just done. I don't need to remember the number. I can just play this video back. Oh, okay, uh, with vehicle ECU, please make sure a one if the vehicle is function and two if the diagnostic connector is correctly connected three if the ignition key is turned on if the vehicle has manual operation menu if yes please refer to manual operation all right so just going to exit out of that um let's see what tool setup is uh so language units of measure there you go contract feedback device information and that's it, uh, if we just go into device info, software version, there we go, serial number, one thing or another, let's just go back, um, just go up to language, just so uh, you know. Okay, so English and Russian by the look of that, <laughs> that's interesting, um, made in China but English and Russian, right, um, unit of measure, metrica imperial, and then your contrast is at 48 percent it looks fine obviously it's daylight feedback it's okay that start recording oh interesting what's that uh from the elevated functions that require feedback after the execution oh okay right i'm just going to exit out of that though um and uh, device information we've done so there you go not many uh things on there however um pretty handy though just get the right codes from it um now nissan have also said that um let's just i'm just wondering here is it best to yeah let's just turn vehicle off I'll just see what happens on this actually so we'll exit out um, so, yeah, Nissan had said, just checking them pins, um, Nissan had said that um, some ODBs, when people have gone there and gone with a fault code, well, it's either been wrong or um, it's another one, um, uh, you know, that they may be missing some fault codes from the diagnostics tools which they're using, which I'm presuming is that... Um, uh, uh, the proper Nissan um, download. So the other thing which you can get is a VAG, surprisingly, which I'd seen on the um, connector um, with a USB connection on the end. And then you um, basically then download um, the program from them. And I think it's someone in Australia or New Zealand who was selling them um the actual program for like 60 quid or something or other or 50 quid so i'll probably do that just to compare as well and um and i wanted to get a um bi-directional um diagnostics tool um so i think top done um one of theirs works um it may be the phoenix or something so i've got to check on that but if it is that's about 700 quid um but if you're going to keep a vehicle or well it covers all other vehicles so as well so it may be a worthwhile investment but i hope you uh, appreciate that so just do a quick video so big thumbs up to that ansel it's got us the code let's go and see what it is all right and catch you all later see you later boom